hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself in a photo and the app we're going to be using for this is snapseed so i'm going to come to snapseed come to open and i am going to select one of the photos we're going to be using i'm going to just come to album favorite as usual and go and search for the photo that i want to i want to use okay so this is the photo i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this picture picture and i'm just going to select i'm going to first select one of the pictures i want to use which is this one then i am going to come to double exposure and i am going to come to add photo i'm also going to go to favorite and select the second picture i am going to be using which is mm, this photo so you can see the two pictures are showing right now but it's not just clear they're both in the picture but it's not clear then all i'm going to do is increase the opacity so i've increased the opacity and it's just one picture that is showing that is the second picture i've selected i'm going to leave it like that and just click on this mark button then i am not going to come to this picture this one that looks like a diamond this is a diamond or like a a square and arrow shape and i'm going to come to view edit so the edit that has been done double exposure i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on this square and erase button so now you can see it's showing the other picture and i am just going to tap on the screen so you can see as i'm tapping i'm revealing the second picture see over here where this arrow is on 100 double exposure i'm just tapping and making sure that i'm tapping the second picture so the thing for this particular photo is that you have to make sure you use a tripod i don't want to see steady hands because you can't really trust your hand you have to you have to make sure that you use a tripod a tripod is what is going to give you like a very steady effect a tripod is not going to move if you set it well so you want to set your tripod go to one part of the frame take a picture go to the other part of the frame so what i did was i first sat down took this picture on this side i made sure that oh okay if i'm going to stay on this other side i'm not going to like I'm not going to disturb a be affect myself. I don't know the English word to use, but I'm just going to make sure like it looks like I'm close, but my hand is not in front of like the other party. I'm going to make sure that I'm giving myself space. Yeah, I think that's the easy way. So that's all for cloning yourself. Just erase and like you see here, yeah, I feel like I didn't clean it well. I'm going to come and just swipe on the screen so that it's very you just swipe so that it's very it's very it's very visible so that it's very visible you can swipe so that it's very visible choose the background that you the background that you want and that's all for cloning guys okay yeah it looks like there's a mistake see as i was swiping so that's it if you swipe into the other picture see i'm cleaning the picture all i need to do is go to this zero then come back and tap like go to that arrow go down to zero come back and tap so that the view the real one in this photo if there's a mistake again you go back to 100 to replace go to 100 to replace go to 100 to replace go to zero to replace this other picture i hope you get what i'm saying but if you don't get it you can always send me a message to ask questions but i really hope you i really hope you do so all you want to do is go to zero to replace this one I'll go to zero to replace zero zero is going to clean this one if you want to replace this one go to 100 go to 100 to replace this particular photo 100 
to replace this photo and that's all guys all you just need to do is mark go back your picture is still there and save as a copy as usual